Hi folks, this is Bustle Girl reporting from Phoenix Comic Con on the final day. It's Sunday afternoon, everybody's a little bit of a zombie, but we are still bringing you all of the geek news that you want to hear. Today I am very lucky that I am able to speak briefly with the incredibly successful and incredibly busy Ethan Van Skyver. And as you can see right here, he is with us, but he is in the middle of a commission, so we won't take up too much of his time, but we would love to hear a little bit about what he is working working on as far as titles, work, any kind of special projects that he is allowed to speak of. What is, uh, what is the latest thing on your calendar that you're allowed to talk about, sir? Well, right now I'm, I'm drawing Green Lantern number 43. So I'm back drawing Green Lantern characters. I love drawing Green Lantern characters. That's my home. So uh, that's what's on my desk right now. Um, and we'll see. I mean, there's other stuff in the pipeline, but, you know. I'm happy when I'm drawing Hal. Well, and we also know that you are a man of many talents. I know that uh, you have a tendency to, when you're in the mood, do a musical interlude for some of your more ardent fans. Uh, <laughs> is there going to be any musical interludes coming up to, in, to uh, give us the wonderful stylings of Mr. Van Skyver? Well, I have to say, um, it, it all depends on what I hear on the radio. And when I hear a beautiful song on the radio, um, I, I have to kind of uh, interpret it my own way. If it's Usher, that's good. Jason Derulo. If it's about big butts, um, I think it sounds really good on piano, uh, and I'll, I'll have to interpret it. And, and it is brilliant and very pleasing. Are you going to be releasing a CD anytime soon? I'd like to know. I, I just don't see that in my future, but maybe, maybe. We'd be very disappointed if you did not. Now, today you have been working on commissions the whole time. Has this been a very busy con for you? It seems from what you've been posting on your Facebook that you have not had a moment to yourself. Um, I've had a few moments to myself, but I've spent them with family and friends. Um, however, Phoenix Comic Con is a very, very busy show. Uh, a lot of great, wonderful fans here, and um, a lot of Flash and Green Lantern fans to keep me busy. Fantastic. And I notice um, the wonderful artwork on your left arm. It appears that you've got some beautiful tribal symbols of frogs. Will you tell our newer viewers that may not be as familiar with them as they should be, what, uh, what importance the frog has for you? A frog is my spirit animal. It is. I have dreams about frogs and they denote good luck. Snakes are bad luck. And I actually have had dreams where frogs and snakes are together and that's kind of weird. But I don't know, I've always loved frogs. I did a comic book called Cyber Frog, and I've always had tropical frogs at home that I collect and keep as pets. Um, but each one of these frogs has a symbol. Um, this is my symbol for breast cancer awareness that I designed. Um, and this is, of course, the Blue Lantern symbol. And this is the Sinestro Corps symbol. So there are other ones too, but we, we won't get into the fact that this frog says sex on this <laughs> tummy. We won't. No, no we won't. X-Men 118. Very nice. Well, we yeah, we won't get into that. But uh, just as a matter of trivia for some of our hardcore fans, who is your absolute favorite lantern of them all? Um, Hal Jordan. The great, well, Sinestro's good too. And also the ones I've created, like Atrocitus, he's pretty good. And I, I like Kairos, I like them all. I do. I like all the lanterns. Well, that is a relief considering that you are probably the premier artist drawing Green Lantern these days. That's pretty much what, what, people, what people around cons are saying. And I have not only been oh, someone that has heard that, but I'm also one that says that. So we'd like to thank you very much for all the wonderful art that you create. And it's not just, uh, it's not just for DC. You've written, you've drawn for, uh, for Marvel as well in the past, yes? Are you thinking of uh, branching out and starting your own title? Uh, you, uh, from uh, your own original title anytime soon? Perhaps, maybe. Do you have one on the drawing board that you're thinking of? Kinda, yeah. But you can't tell us can't about Can't tell you. Absolutely not. All right. Thank you so much for talking with us for a moment. We know you're a very busy man. So, ladies and gentlemen, again, this is Bustle Girl reporting for Video Jozu at the wonderful Phoenix Comic Con. Thank you for being with us. Make sure you click and subscribe, and we will see you around doing all things geeky. Bye. Oh, my God.